What's happening guys? Today I'm talking about flow state and amorality, okay? Really important topic that was brought up, whether criminals and mass murderers can access the flow state a lot easier. And my perspective on this topic, let's get it. Yeah. I'm inspired. Yes. Hey there guys, how's it going? My name is Sumit Chatterjee from the Flow Zone Academy and I'm a flow state coach, which means that I help you feel better and perform better. Today we're talking all about criminality and flow state, okay? Whether being in flow state is something that is amoral and again, these are my perspectives, okay? You can watch any other video for their perspective my opinions you know feel free to argue them feel free to think how you want but this is what i've observed and noticed i've done many years as a positive psychologist and flow state coach so this is my own perspective on this topic okay flow state is different for everyone i mean chick sent me hai explains this in when he even talks about criminals he says that artists heroes sages criminals look at life in different ways. This shows us that consciousness can be ordered in terms of our goals and intention. Each one of us has an ability to control our subjective experience, okay? And just like control or a sense of control is an element of flow state, we understand where this could overlap with criminality, as well as risk being a flow state trigger, which can overlap with a lot of criminality, correct? So let's have a look at this quote. Criminals often say things such as, if you showed me something I can do that's as much fun as breaking into a house at night and lifting the jewelry without waking anyone up, I would do it. So he also says much of what we label as juvenile delinquency is motivated by the same need to have flow experiences. So what makes a criminal? Is it just a person who breaks the law or can we look into what makes somebody a criminal, okay? Now, if we look at a lot of criminals, they notice that they are substance abusers, a lot of them, okay? Not all of them, uh, it's a generalization. However, you will notice that there's a lot of um, poverty mindset, uh, whether they are in poverty or not, you know, bad parenting. Some people blame it on parenting, right? Things like this. But understand this also, children are born amoral, are they not? Like they will, like you see little kids, they'll like pull on a cat's tail or something like this, or they will go and, you know, you have glasses, four eyes, right? They, they will, they lose that sense of morality. It's only the parents that come along and tell them that, hey, no, Jimmy, it's really bad to do this. And that's when they actually start to understand that they're doing something right or they're doing something wrong. A better question is, are you being effective or are you being ineffective? Let's say that you are a pilot and you're trying to you know fly a plane are you effective in your piloting now what if you had to leave some people behind in order for because the plane is leaving and you have this moral dilemma right of like should i leave those people behind or should i save the day and like you know kind of like wait for those people or, or what about all the other people that came here on time and you know you have this moral dilemma well that doesn't really have any impact on your flow state per se, right? It might make you feel more emotionally overwhelmed. It might make you take up more of a thinking capacity it will get you more in your head out of the flow. However, it wouldn't really affect your flow state. I believe this is a process of alchemy. So if you are transforming your criminality into something else that is more healthy and meeting your core needs, that's when you're gonna start to flourish. There's certain people in my MMA gym who said that they would be addicted to drugs if they weren't doing this. And flow state can be also, if we're thinking philosophically, very philosophically, right? We think of Uwe or the Tao. Now the Tao is connected to nature. So, you know, uh, the trees outside, you know, a stream. Does a tsunami care about whether there's a baby in front of it, right? Does a tiger even think twice right before biting something right it's just there's no sense of like mercy in nature okay that is something that us humans have came up with and i think that that's what differentiates us from animals too is we have a moral code we have a moral compass in a sense right 
So I'm not saying you have to be amoral in order to have flow state or the fact that flow state is something that needs immorality, okay? One could make this argument, right? I, I look a lot into Stoicism and Stoicism is virtuous, meaning it has certain principles like courage, justice, right? These are moral codes that will get someone into ataraxia, therefore flow state as well. So that's, that's a different mindset, right? That's a different ancient paradigm that you're looking into. But like I said, a lot of criminals can be substance users. Well, flow state is one of the most addictive states on the planet, okay? So we can blame mental health or blame drugs or blame criminals and all this stuff, but let's look at the actual peak performance of this, right? So a lot of uh, Olympic athletes share similar traits to psychopaths, okay? The mental toughness aspect, the ability to curb their emotional you know, cravings and different things like this. Psychopaths also release 400% more dopamine, okay, than their counterparts. They also have high testosterone, low cortisol, okay? These are all, they sound like great things, but then you understand that psychopaths also, well, they're like, getting to a very serious state that can also be a serial killer or you know something like this so it's definitely not good okay however you know they have these ADHD fast twitch muscles so they are generally better at accessing the zone however th does this mean that you need emotions in order to tap into flow state sometimes it depends what you're trying to get into flow state with right as an artist you do need emotions to tap into your artwork do you need emotions as a person who's gonna rob a bank? No, not really, right? Why would you need emotions there? That's why it helps flow state, right? In that particular con, so it's context, it's very, very context specific. We were looking at peak performance and effectiveness and optimization, it's an optimal state of performance, right? One thing that also helps psychopaths, is, which is similar to Olympic athletes, is this ability to notice the vulnerabilities in their opponents, okay? They're able to have that pattern recognition software where they're able to really break down and deconstruct their opponent in their mind, okay? And really look at all of the weaknesses that are there. Now, if you're really, really tapped in, they'll have this ability to really read your environment. Richness is one of the elements of an ecstatic state, right? Selflessness, timelessness, effortlessness, and richness. So this ability or deep embodiment or even you see you don't want to get so caught up in your own psychological flow that you forget about the group flow triggers right this is where we tend to have a little bit of amorality when we start getting so isolated from society that we get so caught up in our own mental paradigms our own minds that we disconnect from others okay now i have hermit tendencies you know we all do. We all do nowadays. COVID is hit. We have some introverted and hermit tendencies. That's not what I'm talking about, okay? I'm talking about complete psychological delusion and complete cutoff, okay, from everything. You don't want to do that either, I would say. You want to, we are social creatures. We're meant to interact with others, okay? There's a dark side of flow state where you can get into your own flow state bubble and block off everything that doesn't align with the reality that you're trying to create, which makes you kind of maniacal a little bit in that criminality sense, right? Where you're like, man, I just want to optimize my reality exactly in this very specific, super specific way that is so detailed and so perfectionist that you start just carving your own mind out. Almost your intellect becomes a knife and you start stabbing yourself with that knife in a sense, okay? So don't do that either. And definitely don't break any laws of the land as you're watching this and listening to this, okay? Don't be a criminal, <laughs> don't do those things. Um, they're bad for you unless the laws are messed up or whatever in your, you know, in your country or whatever. And, you know, I'm not saying to break the laws at all. Don't break the laws of your land, don't do that, okay? I mean, flow state is also transferable, right? If your friend is in flow state, you will feel that energy. You'll feel the emotions off of the other person. And, and empathy is something lacking in a psychopath. Or let's say like a mass murder or something like that, right? They're in flow state depending on the task that they're trying to accomplish. Someone who's very sloppy in that, they'll get caught immediately, right? If they're trying to, you know, lead some kind of a bank heist with a blueprint, if you're not a very strategic, strategic organized kind of planner you're not going to get away with that i'm sorry right and so 
you do need a sense of, well, I would say that's more intellectual, a deep thinker type of flow profile, right? Where you go in your mind. And there's also other flow profile types. Now, it is my understanding that you can also build your flow profile based on the activities that you do. We are what we repeatedly do in a sense, okay? So if you're on stage a lot of the time, a lot of the time, that starts to morph into the kind of person that you become. It, it becomes a part of like your, your personality in a sense, okay? And once you understand that this is a part of my personality, now I know that, okay, there's something very, very interesting about me just exploring this arena of flow state and being able to like find, find your own flow state code in whatever it is that you do, okay? Stoicism seems to think so. In Taoism, it's interesting, right? Because Taoism doesn't really have a moral code to say what is good and what is bad. There's not this kind of duality like like thing right there is this understanding that we're all born from good or this uh, even then there a lot of like hidden texts and things like that we have to really dig into to find that out but the Tao in itself isn't good or bad it is just like it just means you missed your mark right the word sin means you missed your mark it's an archery term right and so if you're not flowing well d does does making you a criminal or someone who is amoral put you more into the flow state? It depends, okay? It really depends. That's my answer, and that's my perspective. If you are interested in this topic, you know, definitely explore it further. Uh, I, I believe there's a book called Without Conscience that talks about the mentality of this kind of stuff and, and what really makes a criminal a criminal. And there's a bunch of other resources and forensic uh, psychology and uh, you know criminal psychology that deals with a lot of this kind of stuff uh, i'm not an expert in that arena so i can't speak too much about it this is just from what i know and what i've read uh, and my own understanding i know a lot of studies they do show that immorality factor it's time we come to our own conclusions it's time we actually find the truth of what the truth is right and find our own moral code that aligns with us okay we can look at the moral codes that society has given us. Like, I'm not going to go up and slap somebody randomly, right? I'm not going to physically assault them. But what if that person is threatening, threatening my family? What if that person is coming after me? What if that person is bad mouthing me online, like, you know, 1,800 times already? Like, th there, there can be so many factors, right, that make someone behave in a very specific way. And we are such complex creatures as human beings, man. You can't really break down and say, this is because of this. Correlation is not causation, right? Anyways, man, like, these are just labels anyway, right? A criminal, right? Are you really a criminal? Just because you went to jail, does that make you a criminal? What if you were wrongly accused? What if you were falsely, you know, uh, blamed? There's questions and moral questions to, to really ponder. If you want to get philosophical about this, we can. But from a flow state perspective, are you creating all of those neurochemicals, anandamide, right? The lowering your cortisol. Maybe you have high adrenaline, which is getting you in the struggle phase a lot. And you're like acting out and being impulsive. Maybe you just have a bad deck of cards in terms of parenting and you have a dysfunctional family that's gotten into your head, right? Getting you to act out in irrational ways. Let's actually look at traumas and their cause of how that starts to morph somebody's brain, right? Because you could completely alter your behavior based on a specific event that happens in your life. You can completely go 180 and become a completely different person, right? in that state so you want to get really specific and have a sense of control of what you want to have in flow state definitely like being a moral person being a good person is accepted by society but also it's something that is very protective actually right it won't get you into a lot of like issues or trouble if you're just a clean person and, and you have a lot more blessings in life if you're just a, a pure clean person you know what i mean so just because, you know, th there's certain traits that make us more, you know, tapped in per se, like what do you, what is your intention, right? What is your intention? Is it coming from a good place or is it coming from a very 
like narcissistic, delusional, brainwashed, right, way? Is it coming across as, as super arrogant? Is what you're doing coming across as something impure or dark and trying to be trendy? Like just based on society, right, as an aesthetic, you're trying to be more dark as an aesthetic. Listen, man, that, that isn't attractive to me. Like people who are like nonchalant, trying to act cool, or I don't care. And they're, they're trying not to care so much that they actually, they become uncool as a byproduct. It's like, dude, you showing emotions that you don't care means that you care, okay? Every emotion has a baseline of care. Let's not forget that. So anyway, guys, uh, I can talk about this topic for a long time, but thank you for this insightful question, man. Uh, if you have any questions, shoot me a message on Instagram. Have an incredible rest of your day. May the flow be with you and stay legendary. Let's get it today. Upward Spiral Gang. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Let's go.